everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. In this video, we're going to be looking at dense connective tissue, and in particular, we're going to be focusing on dense irregular connective tissue. Now, if you remember a uh, breakdown of how we actually look at connective tissue, connective tissue is made up of two things. Let me just change the color here. Uh, it's made up of two things. Uh, so dense connective tissue, it's made up of two things. It's made up of cells and it's made up of extracellular matrix. And we know the extracellular matrix is made up of ground substance and it's made up of fibers. Uh, now, in dense connective tissue in particular, um, we find that there's not many cells and the cells that are present tend to be fibrocytes rather than fibroblasts, and we have very few uh, transient cells, uh, so fibrocytes are the predominant cell type. In terms of ground substance, we tend to find lower levels of ground substance compared to loose connective tissue, but we do find higher levels of fibers, and they tend to be uh, in bundles rather than individual fibers like we saw with the loose connective tissue. So as I say, we're going to be looking at dense irregular connective tissue, uh, and this uh, lovely slide here, this is a trichrome stain section of uh, skin. So we're going to close this, we're going to start our three minutes, and then we'll have a look. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is a, a trichrome stain section of thick skin. Uh, we can tell it's thick skin because of the very well developed stratum corneum here of the um, uh, epidermis and here with trichrome you can see the epithelium here is uh, stained red the collagen fibers uh, or the connective tissue fibers I should say are stained this purpley uh, blue color um, and we can actually see this difference between the uh, loose connective tissue uh, here just directly beneath the epidermis and the dense irregular connective tissue of the reticular dermis here. Um, thin individual fibers in the loose connective tissue whereas we've got these thick bundles of fibers running in many different directions. Now the spaces here, there's a little bit of artifact here through shrinkage, through processing for microscopy. So there would have been some ground substance here but largely we've got all of these dense irregular connective tissue fibers running in many different directions and of course that enables skin to withstand forces from many different directions um, and in, so we can actually have uh, elastic fibers helping to provide elasticity to that deformation and reformation of this connective tissue here. So you can see the larger blood vessels out here as well, but predominantly what we can see is these thick bundles of collagen and elastin running in many different directions. If we go to our next slide, um, so I'm just going to skip over that one. Here we've actually got a, um, a stain section which is labeled particularly uh, elastic fibers. So if we zoom here, this is skin. This is thin skin in this case. We can see some hair follicles and some sebaceous glands here. And if we sort of zoom in, you can see these black fibers. These are actually bundles of uh, elastin. Uh, so you can see there's a relatively high amount of elastin present within the reticular dermis. These um, browner type of uh, structures here, these are actually the bundles of uh, collagen. And you can see just about with every collagen bundle, there's also an accompanying elastin bundle. And that helps to regulate how stretchy that type of connective tissue is. You can see how the um, thick bundles of elastin here then become individual single fibers. Uh, within the loose connective tissue, you can see them stretching up here, for example, very thin, wriggly type of fibers, but out here in the dense irregular connective tissue, following the collagen, they're running in many different directions. Either you can see them longitudinally here in oblique section and in transverse section, indicating they're also providing uh, an ability to withstand forces from many different directions. So again, dense irregular connective tissue, lots of bundles of fibers running in many different directions, able to withstand forces from many different directions as well. So that's a quick overview of dense irregular connective tissue. Uh, hopefully you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video. Hooroo.